do not slap the thighs. Because you know what that means. The gays will be excited. They should be. Mm-mm. And give us more views. More Thigh slaps. Yeah. The louder the slap, the bigger the audience. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We are back with Young Royals. We're finally starting season three. Season three is going to finish us. Yes. We are starting season three, but season three it's is going to finish us. us. Can you believe it's the last season? Can you believe we've reached, we've almost reached the end? Yes. But we also kind of like, we didn't have to wait that long we between lucky. watching season two and then season three. Yes, so. very, very lucky. We ended season two on a high. Villa came out in public. Yes. He declared his love to Simon. Well, he declared his love to Simon in yeah. at the end of season one, but he <clears throat> publicly declared his yeah. love to Simon. And he confessed it was him in the video. Exactly. Big, big move. The royal court is in chaos, I'm assuming. Yes. Young Olaf. Young Olaf? What was his Jan name? Young Olaf. Young Olaf. Almost lost his uh, shit. <laughs> the queen was like, what is going on? But the kids lived for it and they were all recording it. Very beautiful moment. Thank you so much for being with us throughout season one and season two. Thanks for the lovely comments. And I would say, let's dive right in. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Anxious chatter. Oh. Bella! Simon and his mother. Wow. Okay. And Og is over there with his lawyer. Is that a lawyer? Did you see the lawyer? I didn't see it the lawyer. Said, it said lawyer. Okay. The Queen. Wow, I guess they have some kind of meeting to come to a agreement or something yeah but look at the queen wow she's not looking at him she's also not looking great did you see she looks old see i'm telling you she's not well <sighs> yeah maybe maybe the stress you know Hello, Bella. Represent the lost and troubled souls out there. Everything was true, what you heard. Oh, he doesn't stop looking at us. He wants to look at us a little bit more. He's like, babes, I'm gonna miss you too. And I'm like, we're gonna miss you too. <laughs> I'm assuming not much time has passed, but I wanna know like how much like has it been a few weeks or arrival at the royal court. Come on in, Simon. Wearing his signature purple shirt. Correct. Ooh, he's... He's transported into a different world. <laughs> I'd have been like, is this a museum or...? I want to know where Sarah is. Oh, oh, the queen's about to jump over the table and slap him. Ja, vi har samlats här idag med anledning av den så kallade intimvideon. Mm. Och målsägandena, hans höghet, kronprins Wilhelm och Simon Eriksson. Mm. Men vi vill tillsammans med er se över möjligheterna att nå en förlikning. I en rättegång så hade knappast bevisen eller vittnesmålen räckt till en fällande dom. Frågan är om videon i sig skulle anses vara särskilt explicit. Uh, the video was quite explicit. Explicit? Explicit. Han försökte förstöra deras liv. Och efter prinsess tal kom Nordisk Mustangs rörelse till Bjärstad och brände Pride-flaggor. <gasps> what? Det är vår hem. Jag vill ha upprättat. Oh, wow. Vi tar en kort paus här bara. Jag ska överlägga med min klient lite. Wow, so a lot has happened. Wow. So let them sit there and talk about something that they're not allowed. Peace manager. Well, you are. Yes, you're correct. Are piss person. He's honest. I like it. Piss person. We need that as a t-shirt. T-shirt. I shall not be a little ironic. 
visste att du av alla människor har gått ut mot krona. Jag älskar. Du är så förjäklig. Älskar monarkin dig? Very good question. Very good question. Och det är ett väldigt generöst erbjudande. Yes. Vad var det han tänkte betala? För 1,2 miljoner kronor. Ooh. Jag vill bara att det här ska ta slut. Yes, especially Simon knows that they can come after his dad. Because he was selling the, the, the drugs, no? His dad's drugs. I can't take it anymore. He just wants the money and also just be out of it because it can turn... It can turn sour. Right? We started at the end of season I wonder two. if the mom is at this point already aware of that. I don't think so. She would lose it if she would find out. Right, this is the clip that we missed. You know the comments. Everybody was like, you missed the clip. This is the clip. Hey. Hey, stranger. Are you new I here? I haven't seen you in a while. Yes. Maybe the first and last time he's there. I can... Why didn't you show me the dungeon? <laughs> the secret dungeon. The catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> the torture chamber. Chambers. That's his oh, room, no? His bedroom, yeah. yeah. Cozy. Oh, he said the same thing about him. I was like, they this couldn't hold some... back oh, any no, longer. Of course not. Could you? No. Exactly. Mm, so cute. No? Kronprinsen, vi behöver fortsätta. Ja, vi kommer. Good. At least the door is closed. <laughs> så. Förslaget är att vi går igenom avtalet. Ursäkt för mig, men uh, vi är klara här. Hur ni vill, men uh, jag tänker att inte lära mina barn att vissa kommer undan lag. No. This is bad. Just take the money, babe. August här tänker jag säga att inte anmäla... Oh, no! Just take the money! Eller kronprinsen för det faktum att hans höghet hotade August för livet med ett gevär. Oh, no. Here we go. Everything's coming back. But there's no... Du som lurade Simon på pengar. Jag vill minnas att du tog drogerna dessutom. Det gjorde du också. Uh. Behöver vi en försäkring från Kungahuset? Att August får en officiell titel som näst i tronföljden efter kronprinsen. Huh? Du kommer aldrig vara en del av min... August is not making the demands? Titta på mig! Om du tror att jag kommer låta dig ta över så kan du glömma det. Your track record så kommer du lyckas packa upp allt helt på egen hand. Wow! This is war. This is wild. Not in front of the queen, like, what is going on? I mean, it had to be explosive. <laughs> Maybe she's just disappointed. Yeah, of course. Shattered. Destroyed. Look at her. <sighs> this is heavy. Her beautiful boy. And now she has to deal with these two. I've skrivit under, och det hela måste vara överspelat nu. Vi får lägga det bakom. Du fyller snart 17 år och inom ett år så ska du kunna ta över efter mig. Förstår du? No more games. Alltså det här är ingen lek. Well, no more games. Wow! She's about to drop it's, dead. It's really getting to her. 
Ja, om du håller det borta från mig så gör jag det samma. She's about to drop dead, I'm telling you. Ooh, she's in some kind of attack. Panic attack or something. Does she have a button or something? Like a panic button? What is going on? Anxiety? Panic? No, but she's talking about Eric. I think until now she never really worked through it. Worked through it and like showed emotions, you know? But of course she misses him. Room 17. Back, back, back again. Untouched. Wow, still there, the trousers. Breaking up with a friend can be worse than getting dumped. That's me. That is very true, and it just also shows you what a deep how connection. Much, yeah. Yes. How much she cared about. How much she cared about Sarah. Yes. Oh, they're giving each other piercings. It's gonna be like this every day till then. Yes. Oh, look at her, she's talking again. I would say, just leave them alone. Exactly. Let them be. Exactly. No. Så att om vi använder den här situationen på rätt sätt så kan den hjälpa oss att modernisera bilden av monarkin som en naturlig del av ett tolerant Sverige. Mm, interesting conversation. Yeah, I like her. Starta en välgörenhetsstiftelse i ditt namn på din 17-årsdag. Och... Gio och jag, vi har gjort ett sommarlovsschema. Vi kan kalla det för en sorts eh, kronprinsskola. So they want to turn it into a documentary. No. No, just she said to prepare him. Yeah, but she said we have like events planned. No, did I misread it? Maybe I misinterpreted. I'm also just blinded by the Valentino bomber jacket that he's wearing. Can I have that? True. Det här gäller också hans sociala medier. Han måste ligga lågt just nu. Förstår du vad jag menar? No more picture sharing. Oh no. Have they talked about it at all? Inside and her. Oh my god. Tror att jag knarkar. Jag rörde inte de där tabletterna själv. Och du har utgångsförbud. Resten är terminen. Vienes direkt till skolan till la casa. Jag vet att jag har gjort ett misstag, men det var för att hjälpa Sara. Sen blev allt fel för att jag Kom och jag sa det rätt, Simon. Kom. Apparentemente no sé nada. Oh, there she is. Du ska vara tacksam. Jag inte tvingar dig sluta på hillerska. Wow. Okay, so it seems Sarah is not doing anything. She's just yeah. at home. Where's your mind <laughs> Oh no. Well, I guess they're not talking to each other. She doesn't know that he was selling the drugs. Sara. Allt det här är ditt fel. Jag anmälde ju August bara för att visa dig att jag var på din sida. Men du borde ha pratat med mig innan. Snälla. Kan du bara inte vara här? Snälla. Och nu blir jag förnedrad i mitt fucking hem! Bloody hell. This is out of control again. Communication non-existent. No, don't say that. Oh, don't say that to her. I mean... I'm telling you, the villain of this entire show, bad communication. <laughs> it doesn't look like they can talk to each other. No. <sighs> He's wearing Valentino as well. Why am I losing it? Yep. I'm going to do the jävla reporter who wrote it. What about the Prince? Yes, but it's the jävla talet. Valentino called him and said, we want to equip you for the next season. Here you go. Take whatever you want. I'm going to try to get another one, or how? 
Men vad invigningarna med villans tal och göra? Mm. Mm. I didn't really get that. Here they are, paparazzi. Do we need to go back and rewatch that scene? Let's mm. go back and rewatch the scene. Det var snart det om att halva skolan har bett folk uttala sig. Fråga en massa andra grejer också. Det som hände för fett länge sedan. Kan vara Ja, om invigningarna och grejer. How would the reporter know about the initiation? Yeah. Someone must have talked about it. I would be surprised if Vincent talked about it. Men vad invigningarna med villans tal att göra? I guess maybe the reporters want to expose the whole school <clears throat> yeah. and what is, what's going on there. Yeah. Right? He looks cute in pink. He does. In front of everybody, yes! And they don't need to hide anymore. Ooh. Hey. But cute. I mean, like other couples would do the same thing, you know. Correct. So. Whatever. No, I can't. I'm grounded. Mm -hmm. They can come on to me. Still. As if the mom is gonna allow that. It's gonna be harder for me. Of course he would. I would have a word with the mom first. Don't just make promises. Speak to your mother, because she is quite upset. I like his look though, right? Because it's like quite cool and like baggy. Before he was always like very sharp. And... Yes. Now it's oversized and it's Valentino. Before it was Polo Ralph Lauren. Yes. Okay, det vi måste göra det är att ta för en hillerska för life på armen. Ta en selfie, baksätta på en polisbil. Dansa ballongdansen på en offentlig plats. Sex den lärare. Sex the teacher. All stupid things. Here's a new one. Match with Marcus and Grinder. It's going to be really easy. The question is just who you're going to drive on. Do you think we didn't know that? Shift. Two best guys. It's a jävla fuckboy move. Shift. Have you been shot? Yes. Sarah was. That's the real thing for him. This Vincent guy is just completely out of touch. Okay. Yes. Okay. He still has feelings for right. her. Alright, go and get the Team August t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. No, no, these no. are the moments, listen, these are the moments that he is actually a nice guy. Right? They're, they're, yeah. they're far and few. That doesn't make him a good guy, so... So we shouldn't take the t-shirt out yet? No. Okay. It's burned already, have you? Is it? Get? Oh yes, it's burned. <laughs> Oh, bless her. Huh? She, is she gonna go back? That is wrong. I thought she left her uniform at the end of season two. Maybe she still had one at home. Hmm. Interesting. They didn't show anything of the man at the end, no? That breakdown that she had, we didn't see mm. anything. Skulle du kunna ge den till Sara? Jag visste inte riktigt vad jag skulle göra med den, så... Visst. Hur är det med henne? Det är... Inte så bra, tror jag. Men jag mm. pratar inte med henne så mycket just nu, så... Men på något sjukt jävla vänster så saknar jag det samtidigt. Here's an idea for Liz. Go to her house and talk to her. Hur kommer man över sin bästa vän? Exactly. Yeah, I guess you don't. Do you? Yeah, but also for her. She kind of... Hur har det varit för dig sen kronprinsen kom ut? 
Marcus the X. Don't make any comment, just walk. He's probably thinking, is this how it's gonna be for the for the future, you know? It's just gonna be like this for a hot minute and then it's gonna be over. Men vi till slut når ex-pojkvännen säger han att relationen mellan kronprinsen och Simon Eriksson verkar problematisk. Alltså ska vi gå och säga någonting till honom eller? Alltså, you should have a talk with him. Marcus säger utan det värsta är ju vad folk skriver. Har du läst kommentarerna? Det är inte så att de skulle komma och säga det i er eld. Don't read the comments. Don't read the comments. Det är en typisk latino lover som hoppar mellan pojkvänner eller att jag är en... Min kära... Ah. Ooh, the red light's back. Maybe we should have put red light on. Celebrate the first episode. Well. Nice pictures! The music is so good again, no? Ah. You feeling it? I am. Eric, we miss you. Sora. Where is she? Mm. Oh, she went shopping. <gasps> is she going to the dead? <gasps> yeah. Stop it. Stay here? Is it that bad? Wow, for her to to make that move. That is crazy. Wow. Wow. Jag tar och fixar i sovrummet åt dig. Det behövs inte. Jag tar soffan. Det är ändå bara tillfälligt. It might be a good thing though, you know, like she might get closer to her dad again. Enough. Du vet det, men älskling, det är dags att komma över henne. Och det är där. Vi måste ta den här mässen. Vad är det som händer här? Mm. Another Valentino bag. What is it with this product placement? Ah, <laughs> uh, enough. Maybe it's like the the official sponsor. They're like, here season. you go. Take everything and put it in the in the show. She just casually has a Valentino bag sitting on that <laughs> desk. It might be the it brand for the elite in Sweden. For all we know, they were like, which country are we selling the least in Sweden? Huh? Young Royals, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna do that as well. Throw a tantrum until you take me to New York. Well, I also wanna go to New York. I said it first. I'm take me there. Mm. You've been already. No. No, I don't know what you're talking about. This is so cute. Uh, Real friends, uh, she just said something very important. Real friends, no. This old shebang isn't, you know. Cute. What? What is going on? What article? What did it say? Oh, about the, oh, those initiation. Oh, no, initiation. Culture of Mental silence. News. Ooh, scandal. Who is talking about all of this? Sedan satt det sig gay på en film på en tv. Alla tvingades sitta på rad och titta. Den som fick stånd pickades ut under hålet. No. What? That's not even true! Det inspirerade mig att våga prata om det som hände där. Oh, so it might have been a former student. Hör upp! 
Oh, he's talking. Alla lektioner är inställda. Sätt fart. It might be the end of the school, you know. This is bad. Hey, hey. We haven't seen the principal yet, by the way. Har det hänt dig? Nej, inte inte filma. But everything else, yes. Vad var det andra? Yes. <laughs> Who's this? God morgon. Is it a good morning? Jag heter Vanessa Hamilton och jag är tillförordnad rektor. Oh, the principal is gone. Jag har begärt tjänstledig tills dess att sanningshalten i de anklagelser... Det har alltså gjorts en anmälan till Skolinspektionen. Därför har vi bestämt att det är dags att ta i med hårdhandskarna. Och så kommer mobiltelefoner om händer. Confiscated. Det en timme om dagen. Det kommer att råda ett utegångsförbud. Vadå? Ett och ton? Någon skulle påträffas utanför sitt elevhem efter det att utegångsförbudet trätt i kraft. Så kommer det leda till omedelbar avstängning. Du skojar. Wow, immediate She's suspension. literally like, if I see you breathing. Yeah, they won't be able to hang no. out. Det gäller samtliga elever. Även de myndiga. Ja, men vadå, vi ska ta studenter. Ja, men exakt. Samtliga. Bloody hell. Jag vill göra det väldigt tydligt för er. Is she the new villain of the season? She is the new head bitch of the season. Hiller ska kanske ingen stänga med omedelbar verkan. Wow. That is catastrophic. And then they wouldn't be able to uh, graduate. Who went to the bloody press? It sounds like it was a former student. But why would you stir the pot? Well, as they said, because of Billa's speech. He was saying breaking the tradition, and somebody da, 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 doesn't like da. that, and it brought back all the memories. <sighs> I guess that person also wanted to have a bit of attention, maybe, right, and be like, "Oh, I'm going to be in the news." I hope we're going to find out who it was. Hmm. You don't care. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I'm glad. The boys are back. The boys are back. Right. The gang is back. Everybody's back. Everyone's back. So I'm happy. Um, good start to the season, I Very would say. Good start. Very good start. I agree. It had a nice flow, right? The episode. Yes. Good pacing. Good pacing. It started with a bit of drama. Yes. Right. And then it had like a bit more quiet moments. And then obviously now towards the end, it was again like Explosion. explosive. Yes. But um, yeah, like right at the beginning, obviously the whole drama between Simon, August and Billa. What do you think about the situation with the Queen? Yeah, I mean, you said it right away. She right? looked awful she looked... right from the minute she entered the room. I was like, hold on. Yeah. I mean, she didn't wear any makeup. Mm. She looked a bit older. You could see that she was like... The hair wasn't as flawless as it, as it always yeah, is. You could see that she was stressed, you know? When we started watching season two, right, and it's right at the beginning when Villa goes into Eric's room and she then appears to mm -hmm. speak to him and then he closes the door. That very brief moment we see her, she looks incredible, snatched, you know, skin is glowing, the hair is perfect. She looked fresh. Here it was like, babe, you need to go back to bed. <laughs> she looked destroyed. And then after, afterwards we see she collapses, you know, and she takes pills and she's just, you know, like jittery and everything. So, oof. Someone I mean, pointed it out in the comments, actually, when we watched the trailer, uh, there was a very interesting comment that said, did you guys notice that they were wearing black suits, white shirts and black ties, and it looked like a funeral or mm -hmm. something? So are we going to potentially see the queen die? 
I don't know. I don't think they will go with that far. It's just to show maybe... You think they will not go with that? They killed his brother five minutes in. I think it's more just to show like how much this whole situation is affecting her as well. Okay. It's probably also like, which they're not showing us like, but behind the scenes, like how many meetings she had. probably has, yeah. you know, like to control the situation. And it's just a lot of stress for her. And at the end of the day, as she said, she needs to be able to trust the boys. Villa. Villa. Villa in August, right, but in, mostly Villa. Yeah. Yeah. Because he will have to take over. Mm. She needs to trust him. Yes. So fast forward, we're seeing that Felice is not over Sarah, right? She can't stop thinking of her. She's, of course, very upset, as we see in the scene when she speaks to Simon and gives him the necklace. But what do you think of her having such a tough time getting over uh, Sarah? Yeah, I mean, it just shows that they were they were true friends, mm. right? And they really cared about each other. Mm-hmm. Like Felice cared about Sarah. Um, and as they said, sometimes in some some situations, breaking up with a friend can be worse than breaking up with a, with a partner, you know? Yeah, being dumped or something. Yeah. And it's just like the way it ended. Yeah. It was just like so dramatic and so sad, you know, mm. that she can't get over it. What do you think of a very interesting point when now everything is out in the open, right? Wilhel- Wilhelm has come out, everybody knows. And suddenly we're seeing Simon being a little bit iffy and being like, mm, actually, I don't like the fact that everybody's looking at us. Everybody mm. knows, you know, it's out in the open. So somehow the person that wanted it the most is the person somewhat retracting. What do you think of that? Yeah, I do understand it to like a certain point, right? I think what he wants in his head is just this fantasy of being boyfriends, being boyfriends and just having a normal life mm-hmm. and like not having any attention on them. Yeah. But that's not how it is. No, you your know? boyfriend is the crown prince. Exactly. Hello. So I do think he should be extremely happy about how the situation is now. Yeah. They can be open, which they showed like it was such a nice moment, right? They were kissing in front of everyone. They mm-hmm. were like open. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I think at the beginning, obviously, people will stare at them, you know, but yes, I don't think it will la- last that long. No, well, I mean, especially it, at the school, you know, it's just, just like they know each other anyway. So, yeah, no, the, the people at the school don't really care, right? Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, whatever. But the press is going to use it. Right, mm. it's all about the scandal. It's it's selling papers. You know, we want another scandal and another scandal. And <clears throat> I mean, we're seeing it right now here in the UK with with Kate Middleton. Mm. It's exactly the same thing. <laughs> Where is she? I mean, I don't care. Do you care? But at the same time, it's like everybody wants to know. But speaking about the press as well, who's talking to the press? Marcos. <sighs> like, why is he giving his two cents? You know. Why is he getting involved? Maybe he got some money for it or something. Or he wanted attention. I or he, he wanted wants revenge. Attention. Yeah, maybe as well. Yes. Saying <laughs> the relationship Simon and Villa have is problematic. problematic. No, you're problematic, you little gaslighting bitch. Exactly. I mean... What do you think um, <clears throat> of all the Valentino in this show? <laughs> it's amazing. I mean... <laughs> A little late, you know, us in the very, I remember us in the very first episode, it was me making fun of Felice's clothes in the wardrobe. And I was like, this is the richest girl in the school. And suddenly Valentino is in the room. It's all Valentino. A bit late. But anyway, um, and now at the end, the absolute bomb school might actually close because of this initiation shenanigans. But they actually took it even further by fabricating lies. You know, everybody's made to watch this video or something. Yeah. And then whoever so is they, so it's having like, an erection. So there's some truth to it. But yeah. then they also added some stuff, you know. It's, yeah. Homophobic. But nonsense. I think I would say like the majority of it is true. You know. Yeah. The majority of it is true. Yes. 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 Like those initiations like were... You remember season one when Villa had to go through it. Yeah. We were just like watching it. We were like, yeah, I was about to throw up. What the hell is going on? Yes. Right. So, yeah. And that was just him. Like he's the crown prince. So maybe they didn't even go as hard on him. Yeah. 
who knows what they were doing to other people, right? Plus everything else that's going on at the school, you know, them like drinking, having parties, taking drugs and everything. Mm. So it's like, yeah, like you said, it's, it's an elite not school. a good look for the school. Yeah, yeah, it's an elite school, elite by example. Yeah. But, um, but going back to what Far Farina, was it Farina? The, the press girl from the Royal Court, they were sitting in the car and on their way to the school that she was talking to them and mm -hmm. it was like, you know, we can use this as, as a great opportunity, modernize. You yeah, can, you I like can, that actually. You know, you, you can bring in new royalists and so on and so forth. But now seeing that article at the end and how they took his speech and twisted it and turned and weaponized it, right? Mm. And it's truly homophobic to the point where you're like, wow, they're weaponizing it and just fabricating nonsense. It just shows you actually um, how conservative the country potentially is because people well, seem to be falling for it, you know? Yeah, but also if you listened at the beginning. What did they say at the beginning? Where, where they had the meeting between yes. August and Villa and yes, Simon. Yes, yes. And they said that Simon was getting a lot of messages, yes. right? Threats, um, you right. Calls, threats. Mm -hmm. People in in their in their village, mm -hmm. people were burning the pride flag. Yeah, true, true, true. So I mean, that is just crazy, crazy to me. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, they they said that. That is crazy. And it just shows you. It just shows you why potentially they should use it and not just oh, this is not just a little boyfriend boyfriend fling. You should use this to try and modernize, yeah. right? Because it lo looks like the country does have a very conservative side that it's quite dangerous you know and we saw it in the trailer actually um, there is a scene where like like a rock or something is thrown into a building or something no you don't remember no no there is a scene where you but see a bit of aggression also maybe that this not trying to justify what the queen is saying and has been doing in the past you know mm -hmm. but maybe this is one of the reasons why she was so scared scared you know and kind of maybe this was her way of protecting well Bella, she, she said you know, it like because she sure? knows the country is yes. maybe not ready for it yeah yeah and she said it a couple of times she said are you sure this is going to be a battle this is going to be a tough battle she said something like that along mm. the way i agree i agree yes like you said very very good start a lot happened right away uh, one thing we actually didn't discuss sarah going to her death Oof. i mean unexpected complete yeah. surprise which i guess i mean it's i guess it's affecting her a lot right she doesn't being want to be at home, home just yeah. being at home not doing anything mm. simon not really talking to her no. but then also like just what he said to her as well yeah that was Oof. so yeah he took the it. dagger and was like <laughs> <laughs> that was painful See, she did, she did some crazy shit, but at the same time, it's like, come on now. Yeah. Well, but let's not say it. She did some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. She did some crazy shit. But yeah, I guess, I guess like the main point, like now towards the end, obviously with the school being in the spotlights, I guess this mm -hmm. will be like one of the major themes of the season. Right, them having to follow like all these new rules and like having a curfew. And yes maybe not being able to see each other as much like that's gonna be a, i think there's gonna be a lot of drama you know yeah. yeah yeah problematic very good start thanks for being with us this was episode one season three mm -hmm. if you have not seen our reactions to season one and season two just yet please go dive into the playlist and have um a watch enjoy and we'll see you for episode two, two. we're gonna follow the weekly cycle we're gonna follow the weekly schedule um and yeah we're excited to be back see you next time take care bye